I neck don't use our professors for lecture, use them, use them, use them. So they, our professors can't forget the use of professors. <laughs> Professors can't forget what they, they use professor do. <laughs> <laughs> professors begin to analyze politics. Who go win and who go lose? <laughs> <laughs> professors were supposed they they invent things, they tell us things. <laughs> now they tell us who go come out of election. <laughs> Nobody is not there again. Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> when you when you they 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 see that professors they, they use rig election. <laughs> you know where it was before election. My professors will tell you who will win after election. I then go see and announce the result. <laughs> <laughs> before and after. <laughs> <laughs> if you go to that country, you go see professors, they invent. They are professors, they, they, they read. <laughs> we are our own professors, they. They are there for ballot box. <laughs> They talk about me to be as what is it again? Election never pass. Election never pass. If you get a top future election, Professor Talks, why no one pito be to come out now? Say pito be pito be supporters, they insult people. Say where Peter be come visit up. He say he read he read Peter be body language. I read his body language. You know what they tell me when when you use correct English, they talk out of point. He say read the body language. He no say Peter be not support his supporters today. I will. I don't know whether I have to continue or not. Professor Adjo talks to Professor is a gifted man, <laughs> but he's a bad political analyst. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shoyinka is a gifted man. I have always acknowledged that. But he's a bad politi politician or political analyst. <laughs> People call it talks about it and say, you know, uh, Professor don't like him. <laughs> Well, Shoyinka and I have been having a running battle. And uh, he has said it will not end until one of us leaves this world. And I feel that because uh, like I say, I say, I support Peter I make Professor Record that support Peter <laughs> <laughs> The friend of my enemy is my enemy. <laughs> <laughs> now, you may just answer the whole question, finish. You may just talk to <laughs> As far as <laughs> as far as this country is not moving forward, all of us are illiterate. Not <laughs> <laughs> illiterate, uh, illiterate. <laughs> as far as this country is not moving forward, all of us are illiterate. Nigeria is not moving forward, and you're claim, coming to claim that you have certificates. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know where you go. <laughs> okay, the <man don't. laughs> You go and buy a professor, buy a doctorate degree. <laughs> you come and tell me that you're 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 rented. <laughs> as far as. This country is not moving forward. All of us are illiterate. <laughs> I agree wholeheartedly. So people speak English. Yes. 
Every different. Yes. Some people just have speak the English. As you go there, you just be a ranger. <laughs> because tell me where we go get all these professors of English. This is not the move forward. Because they tell me say <laughs> who go come out and who no go come out. I <laughs> No, no, the major one, I, I agree. <laughs> Anybody when they support the uh, APC, mm -hmm. once they never call people, they never, <laughs> they have already know they calm down. Who <laughs> <laughs> on this light? Pito. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, because in the middle of everything where they happen for this country, mm. Interview where you grant now to talk about Peter. Peter or Peter, where I go come out for twenty thousand. We will talk about the present condition of the country. Say you know the move forward. <laughs> no opinion. He talks about twenty. No, we talk about twenty thousand. Where I go come out. <laughs> Who the rule first now? You know they do well. What you go do? Peter, we may not come out twenty thousand. <laughs> <laughs> APC be like with mode black. <laughs> APC no good do anything without talking about Peter. Peter be with mode black no good do anything without talking about color. <laughs> Na best of self feather. Even be like feature for gospel music. <laughs> Na best of self feather, but I don't know whether they they flock together. <laughs> Mamma mia. Everybody claiming a dictated in Nigeria where there is no good road. Do you know what they call Renet people? Educated people stay in a country where there is a lot of digital development. Everybody in this country is in the Go to intelligent country like Dubai. You will see modern things. Any educated people or educated country, go there. You will see development every day because educated person means you have something what others do not have. And you must bring it in a practical. Educated people in in a, a, a in a white man country are the one that manufacture car, bringing modern cars. They want to kill fuel. Now they are bring the electric car. Everybody bullied a professor and doctorate, and also. Uh, all these bullets sophisticated and coming out and saying we are so rene coli 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 we are doctor as far as this country is, is not moving forward all of us are in a threat Wally Shoyinka and I have been having a running battle and uh, he has said it will not end until one of us leaves this world and I have said in this book that you are talking about, that if he live before me, now when I get to heaven, and I hope he will be there, he should welcome me. If I live before him, when I, he comes, I will welcome him. But um, Wale Shoyinka is a gifted man. I have always acknowledged that. But he is a bad polit politician or political analyst. And I've always said that. And that... It's uh, my own point of view. He may agree with it, he may not agree with it. That's my own point of view. The learned elder statesman, Professor Wole Shoinka, he is scared in advance about what Peter will be, what good Peter will be will bring to Nigeria. He's scared in advance that uh, the end is still looking very likely uh, for his principle for bad governance. And uh, what Shoinka is doing now is an attempted distraction, which I beg you to excuse me from joining issues with Wale Shoinka, please. Uh, you and I have much, much better things to do. For all I know, he could continue to throw punches at my principal, at me, as small as I am, he could continue to do that. 
All I can do, I will grieve in my heart, I will pray for him. You see, intellect does not give you right, uh, the right to insult anybody. I remember this Shoinka insulting late General Abacha, insulting him to the core that he was daft, he was that. It, nothing gives him the right to do that. He had no rights. Abacha was not an academic. He was a soldier, for God's sake, and a good one for that matter in his own way, in his own right. Uh, I beg you, let us please put Shoinka and his likes aside. We have better things to talk about. We, we'll have enough time to talk about a lot of things, and, and I do respect your, your wishes there. But I have to ask you whether you think he has a point when he says that by not controlling, or at least trying to control the online trolls responsible for the insults directed at him, Mr. B, and by extension yourself, are tacitly encouraging such behavior. As a partial academic, let me tell you that Nobel laureates all over the world are loved and cherished by their people not just their nationals, globally. I have never heard where Nobel laureates are insulted in the manner that uh, Wole Shoenka is. You're making me to speak about him, I don't want to. Um, now, go back. Nigerians contested through Peter Obi and me. We said this many, many times. It was a force that came alive, a genuine one, a powerful one that won election and was taken away. Never mind what uh, Anik declared. There is no way Peter Obi, with all the issues in front of him, and my humble self, can control obedience as they were. Oh, Peter Obi entered a canoe without a life jacket, and he paid for it. So it is not the work of Peter Obi to control the obedience. It is the responsibility of Wole Shoinka to maintain his respect and dignity. I could say a few things to Wale Shoenka that will destroy him for good, but I wouldn't say that. The learned elder statesman, Professor Wale Shoenka, he is scared in advance about what Peter will be, what good Peter will be will bring to Nigeria. He's scared in advance that uh, the end is still looking very likely. Uh, for his principle, for bad governance. And uh, what Shoinka is doing now is an attempted distraction, which I beg you to excuse me from joining issues with Wale Shoinka, please. Uh, you and I have much, much better things to do. For all I know, he could continue to throw punches at my principle, at me, as small as I am, he could continue to do that. All I can do, I will grieve in my heart, I will pray for him. You see, intellect does not give you right, uh, the right to insult anybody. I remember this Shoinka insulting late General Abacha, insulting him to the core, that he was daft, he was that. It, nothing gives him the right to do that. He had no rights. Abacha was not an academic. He was a soldier, for God's sake, and a good one for that matter in his own way, in his own right. Uh, I beg you, let us please put Shoinka and his likes aside. We have better things to talk about. We, we'll have enough time to talk about a lot of things, and, and I do respect your, your wishes there, but I have to ask you whether you think he has a point when he says that by not controlling, or at least trying to control, the online trolls responsible for the insults directed at him, Mr. B, and by extension yourself, are tacitly encouraging such behavior. As a partial academic, let me tell you that Nobel laureates all over the world are loved and cherished by their people not just their nationals, globally. I have never heard where Nobel laureates are insulted in the manner that uh, Wole Shoenka is. You're making me to speak about him, I don't want to. Um, now, go back. 
Nigerians contested through Peter Obi and me. We said this many, many times. It was a force that came alive, a genuine one, a powerful one, that won election and was taken away. Never mind what uh, Anik declared. There is no way Peter Obi, with all the issues in front of him, and my humble self, can control obedience as they were. Oh, Peter Obi entered a canoe without a life jacket, and he paid for it. So it is not the work of Peter Obi to control the obedience. It is the responsibility of Wale Shoenka to maintain his respect and dignity. I could say a few things to Wale Shoenka that will destroy him for good, but I wouldn't say that.